All right, guys, today we're going over 11-1, which is areas of parallelograms and triangles. <clears throat> uh, areas of parallelograms, earlier you learned that a parallelogram is a quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides parallel. Any side of a parallelogram can be called the base of the parallelogram. The height of the parallelogram is the perpendicular distance between any two parallel bases. So the area of a region is the sum of the areas of its non-overlapping parts. Recall from lesson 1-6 that an area of a rectangle is the product of its base and height by the area addition posture of the parallelogram with base B at height H has the same area as a rectangle with base B at H height. So here is the area of a parallelogram formula, A equals base times height. So number one, we're finding the perimeter area of parallelogram A, B, C, B. Uh, perimeter, we're just adding up all the sides. So this side would be 10, this side is 10. This side is four, so this side would be four. So for, for perimeter, would equal 10 plus 10 plus four plus four, which equals 28 inches. Area is base times height. So the base is gonna be, I said it is 10, and the height is this five right here. So it's 50 inches squared. For this guy right here, we need to find the area. We need to find H to find the area. So we need to recognize that this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So this would be 90, this would be 45, which makes these two sides congruent. It also makes our hypotenuse, if we recall our formula was H square root two for the hypotenuse in our special right triangles. So h square root two equals 8.5, and now we've got to solve for h. So we just divide by the square root of two, which cancels those out. 8.5 divided by the square root of two in your calculator, you'll get h equals six millimeters. So to find the area, area is still base times height which would be then six times 15, six times 15, which is 90 millimeters squared. All right, areas of triangles, like the base of a parallelogram, the base of a triangle can be any side, the, the height of a triangle is the length of an altitude drawn to the given base. Uh, altitude of a triangle is a segment from a vertex of a triangle to the line containing the opposite side and perpendicular to the line containing that side. So if two figures are congruent and they have the same area. In the figures below, a parallelogram is cut in half along a diagonal to form two congruent triangles with the same base and height. So by the area of congruency postulate, the two congruent triangles have the same area. So one triangle with base B and height H has half the area of a parallelogram with base B and height H which is where we get our area formula for a triangle, which is area is one half base times height. So for number one, find the perimeter area of the triangle. To find the perimeter, we need to figure out what this side is on X for the shaded region. To do that, we can do the Pythagorean theorem dealing with these to find X. So if we do that, we have 27 squared plus 30 squared equals X squared. 27 squared is 729, 30 squared is 900 equals x squared. 279 or 729 plus 900 is 1620 equals x squared. We'd square root both sides. So we'd get 40.4 equals c. And then we would have so C, this is gonna be 40.4. And so now we've got the perimeter of this is gonna be 40.4 plus 19 plus 41, which is equal to 100.4 inches. The area is one half base times height, which would be one half the base would be 19, and the height is 30, which is equal to 285 inches squared. And then the last one, the height of the triangle is five centimeters more than its base. 
the area of the triangle is 52 square centimeters. Find the base and height. So we would have area equals one half base times height. So we're just trying to find the base and the height. So the area is 52 equals one half. The base is B. The height is B plus five. So we're gonna distribute that B first. So 52 equals one half times B squared plus five B. I'm now gonna multiply everything by two to cancel out the one half on this side. So I'd have 104 equals B squared plus five B. And now I've got to subtract 104 to make it a quadratic equation. So we have zero equals B squared plus five B minus 104. And now we've got a factor. So when we factor, we got to multiply it to negative 104 and add up to five. <clears throat> so that would be 13 and negative three, or negative eight, excuse me. B plus 13 and B minus eight. So then we got to solve zero equals B plus 13 and zero equals B minus eight. So I'd find that B is negative 13 or B is eight. And in this equation, we are going to be able, we're going to use uh, B equals eight because if we use B as negative 13, that would make the base negative 13 centimeters and the height negative eight centimeters, which does not make any sense. So therefore we're gonna use the positive number eight as B. So our base will equal eight and our height will equal eight plus five, which is 13. And that's all for 11.1.